tries to rob a store, not laughing when cops find what he left behind. A South Carolina thug recently decided to take what he didn't deserve by robbing someone else who had worked hard for their money. Unfortunately for the wannabe badass, things quickly took a nasty turn just a few moments later, and he wasn't laughing when he learned what he had accidentally left behind that the police had found. The incident took place inside the Family Dollar in North Charleston, South Carolina, after 18-year-old Brandon Cook decided to rob the place. After pulling up his white t-shirt over his face, the punk walked inside, put a gun in the clerk's face and screamed, expletive, give it to me or I will kill you. In all, the thieving thug made off with between $400 and $500 worth of cash and coin, but he'd never get to spend it because he's your typical idiot criminal who lacked even an ounce of intelligence when it came to getting away. According to the Post and Courier, Police quickly arrived at the scene after employees called 911 and immediately began a search for the suspect. Oddly enough, it seems that the thug may have dropped something on his way out of the store that would eventually result in his capture. As Live 5 News reports, one of the responding officers was looking around the immediate area when he saw something glimmering in the grass of a nearby yard. Upon closer inspection, he saw that they were coins and decided to follow the trail that seemed to travel in one direction. Before long, the cop looked up to see a man matching Cook's description running toward a nearby auto parts store. Although the criminal was briefly able to escape the officer's eye line, he would end up in cuffs as police found him crouching down in a residential backyard on the same street. Cook surrendered peacefully and police found him to be in possession of a few hundred bucks and several loose and rolled coins. Currently, the moron is sitting behind the bars of the Al Cannon Detention Center, where he is awaiting a bond hearing. It just goes to show that you certainly don't have to be smart in order to be a criminal. Of course, there is a fair share of dummies out there living the life of crime, but Cook just might take the cake currently. It certainly was nice for him to leave the cops a trail to his location and the coins worked much better than breadcrumbs. Cook sums up everything wrong with this country. Not only is he unwilling to go out and earn what he wants, but he believes he's entitled to things he doesn't deserve. Then again, seeing exactly how well he did at this job, it's not really that hard to figure out why no one would want to hire him. In the end, one can only hope that his time spent locked in a cage gives him a moment to contemplate his life's choices. A word to the wise for all the entitled brats out there like Cook, if you want something, get off your lazy butt and put in the effort to achieve it like the rest of us have to. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice.